Jay Drone here. What's going on? DJ Spark there. PC there. There's my controller. DJ I go for on my PC. What? Let's go ahead and double click that. Let's double click that. And we are going to click skip. No Osmos Pocket. Osmo Pocket. We are going to click ignore the update. We're going to click go fly. And we're going to click OK. We're going to click out of there. And bamzo. Look what we got going on. You can see my hands moving around. See it right there? Bam. <laughs> um, so we have the spark on there and we have compass error move aircraft or calibrate compass. I don't remember how to calibrate the compass on this. I barely ever use my spark. Let's click here. Let's go down. That's controller. This is probably drone. Um, return home. I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. Controller, stick mode. You go in here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. Unless uh, maybe my compass is better now. I don't know. Nope. This is calibrate compass. Hmm. That's probably settings for the camera. That is settings for the camera. Click up here. Um, update required. There. We're going to click calibrate compass. Calibrate the compass. Ensure there are no magnets or metal objects near. Well, that uh, could be an issue. So we are going to rotate the aircraft 360 degrees. And we are going to put the hat cam on. We're going to put this like this and rotate it 360. And again, you can see everything is being done through the PC. Compass calibration failed. Strong electromagnetic interference nearby. Oh, man. So we ain't going to be able to do this inside. That sucks. Um, we're going to try again. Retry. We're going to go over here. There's tons of magnets. I mean, most of the most of the drone motors have magnets on them. <laughs> the computer just said low battery warning. I mean, I've basically shown you what I wanted to show you. I wanted to lift off though. Failed. Failed. So we're not going to be able to take off. I don't think. I'm going to click cancel, and it probably won't let me take off. Yeah, it will. <laughs> this could be horrible. Let's go ahead and just put it up. Yeah. And as you can see on the computer, we're up. Low battery warning, I'm aware of that. That thing's sitting rock solid in here. Whoop, wrong way. Let's go ahead and put it back. Yeah, there I am. Ob obviously, there's a decent delay on this. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly. But how cool is that, man? We're, we're gonna we're gonna go down. We're at 26% battery. I kind of want to take a picture of this, so we're just gonna put that there. That's sitting there, nice. It's bobbing around just a little bit because uh, it's close to the computer. Moving around just a little bit. Don't flake out on me here, buddy. I'm gonna clean my uh, screen off. We're going to drop altitude a little bit. That's still smug. Bear with me, guys. I'll, t I'll show you how to do this. There we go. That's a little less smudgy. We're going to drop altitude a little bit. And photo. Let's try to go over here. We'll go like that. And photo. That might have got it. That might be a nice picture. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, Alright, so we're going to land this. We're going to go over here. And we're going to go back here. And what we're going to do is we are going to go on screen here. And I'm going to click land. Try again. It's not letting me click land. Hmm. 
There, I just clicked it. I seen it on there. So I should have had a warning that came up said, are you sure you want to land? But I'm going to go ahead and land it manually. Maybe. Manzo. So uh, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you how I did it. It's really simple how I did it. Don't mind my desktop. We are going to uh, da, 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 we're going to close out. Yes, the the application I'm using is called BlueStacks. And it's closing BlueStacks. It takes a little while. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download a program called BlueStacks. I don't know if you can see over here. And again, don't mind my mess on my desktop. It says blue stacks. Um, download blue stacks. Once you have blue stacks, open it up, go through the setup procedure. Once you're through the setup procedure, we will go ahead and open blue stacks. This takes a little bit, so uh, Blair, bear with me. Six times faster than every phone on earth. Keep things simple. Basically, all this would be is a larger FPV screen for you. Um, and because the Wi-Fi is connected to the, to the controller and the controller is connected to the drone, you don't really have to worry about Wi-Fi failure. I wouldn't rely on this on extreme connectivity as far as uh, doing an FPV. But uh, then all you would do is you would go into your Google Play Store. You would download DJI. And as you can see, it's going to open up the Google Play Store. Open up DJI, get the DJI app, then you go up here, you close this out, you're at your home, then you'd go, you would turn on your drone, you would turn on your controller. Once they pair, once you get a green light here, and once you get that paired, then you would go down to your Wi-Fi settings, and you would connect to Spark RC. Once you're connected to that, you would open up the DJI Go 4 app, and which we will do, we still got battery, it should still connect. Low battery warning. Low battery warning. It knows. It knows. That battery is low. Um, and we're going to click go fly. And we're just going to X out of everything. Okay. X out of everything. Ignore. And obviously calibrate compass. It can't do it inside because magnetic fields everywhere. Again, these motors, they're, they're magnetic. Um, and how many motors do we have in here? <laughs> uh, but alright guys, that was just a little quick little fun video, something else you can do with your Spark, have a bigger critically FPV screen. Yo, critically low battery! And again, that sounds coming from here when it normally would come from your cell phone. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Again, the program you want is BlueStacks. Once you have that, go through the procedure of setting it up. You'll have to log into your Google account. That way you can access Google Play. Um, and then again, once you've done that, you can go into Google Play. You'll also get Azera Lane, whatever the heck that is. And that's all it'll show. It'll show these two. And then click Google Play. Get the DJI Go 4. I've tried it with the X360 flight, and uh, it hasn't worked. Uh, so... Uh, it does work with the DJI app, as I showed you, but I haven't been able to get the X360 app to work yet. Um, it should be the same procedure. Turn on the drone, connect to the Wi-Fi down here. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, open up. Uh, but it, this one hasn't worked. DJI Go 4 works. Super easy instructions. Go here to get the download. I'll have the link down low too, so you can just click it and then you'll be redirected here. You want to click download. Once you've downloaded, unzip it, install it, set up your Google Play. Then once all that's done, your main menu, bam, you'll see a little Google Play icon. Go ahead and click on that Google Play icon. And once you do, you'll be re redirected to the store and you Google Play search DJI Go 4. And once you do that, you'll be redirected here where you want to click install. Mindset uninstall because it's already installed. And once you install it, you go ahead and turn on your DJI product. Turn on your controller, and once you do that, you want to go ahead, bottom right of your screen, can go to your settings. You want to connect to your drone via your settings like you would with any other Wi Fi device. Then go back into BlueStacks, click the DJI Go 4 app, and you are done. Subscribe if you haven't. Hopefully, this helps.